Hey, the annual sturgeon spearing season is about to kick off. Yesterday, spearers were allowed to get out on the ice to cut holes in Lake Winnebago. Ice conditions, though, are a concern this year. And where there are red flags out there, the thickness is six inches or less. So most spearers have taken their ATVs out this year instead of those big pickup trucks. Well, this is a way to celebrate sturgeon spearing for those of us who won't necessarily be out there with spear in hand. Yeah, the Sturgeon Spectacular offers on land and on ice fun in Fond du Lac. Jordan is at Lakeside Park. Good morning. Broom in hand, ball in, or uh, beer in hand instead, let's just say that. Uh, but yeah, we moved in from the ice and uh, yeah, we're at uh, Riverside Park. Right, Riverside Park? Lakeside, Lakeside Park. Park. Not Riverside. There's, there's, a, river there's, a, big, there's a big lake out there. There's, there's a, a river over there. It's Don't close, worry about close it. enough. That's right. That's Craig's right. back here. Uh, and Craig, let's, let's talk about this event. Give us a little overview about you know, why you do this, because it's been a few years that you've been running. That's it. right. Why? Sturgeon. This yeah. is an, basically it's an homage to Sturgeon uh, and Sturgeon spearing season, which always brings out the quirky and crazy and fun in the folks in Fond du Lac. Yeah. So we decided to build a festival around all of that quirkiness. This this is our fifth anniversary festival. Awesome. We've got events on the ice, off the ice, inside, outside. There's something for everybody, downtown and in Lakeside Park. And it's free, and I hear about 30,000 people showed up last year, so join the crowd. We have Lakefront Brewery here. Here's AJ, and why did you guys choose to get involved with this? Uh, I, I live in town here, so it's kind of a, kind of a you know, just a personal thing. Um, the brewery is very good about, you know, if you have a cause or something you're really involved in, they're good about helping out. So that's part of the reason that we're here. Mm -hmm. um, the other part is to provide delicious craft beer for everyone to enjoy during the, uh, the fasts. Up. We have we some have, here. <laughs> yeah, we have our Maybox, our spring seasonal traditional German style lager. Uh, River West Stein is our flagship, number one yeah. selling amber in Wisconsin. Of course, I've tried it myself. Yep, yep. And, uh, and we made a special beer for this event. It's called Bottom Feeder Ale. In um, Why, Why'd you call it that? Uh, I'm kidding, I'm in, kidding, I'm kidding. In homage <laughs> again to the sturgeon. So Bottom Feeder Ale, it's brewed with Wisconsin maple syrup. It's got orange peel in it and it's aged on bourbon soaked cinnamon sticks. Awesome. Can we give this a try? Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, it's, is it uh, five o'clock yet? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, I'm fine with that. But I only see two mugs here. Only two mugs, <laughs> so that's fine. We can, get, there's one in the back. Yeah, okay, right, right. We got it. That looks great. So uh, what are we going to be tasting here? This is the River West Stein Amber Lager. All right, awesome. That is our flagship beer. We've been making it for 32 years now. Awesome. I mean, just as I remembered it, right? <laughs> okay, so you also have a big beer here. What's this for? Yeah, uh, so tonight we have three events going on downtown. We're going to be at 18 Hands, we're going to be at Top Shelf, and we're going to be at Fat Joe's mm -hmm. um, doing events. If you travel to all three events, get a stamp from each event, you are entered into a drawing to win a bottle of our Black Friday, which you can only get at the brewery on Black Friday. All right, come on down to Fond du Lac. By the way, AJ, this is a Top Shelf kind of beer. Thank you. Thank you. I must say so myself. Back to you guys. Uh, all right. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs> we'll be right back.